All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, the citizens of you too, it's Pastor Doc. You know, as I sit here and think about the spiritual bankruptcy, the moral decay, and the decline that is taking place in our society, uh, I saw this years ago, and, and as a result, um, I'm a man that tries my best to always practice what I preach. Um, it was in the mid-90s that um, we took our children out of public school and we started homeschooling them. Um, of course, I get all my information from the Bible, from biblical principles, and glad I did. That's not to say that they're not going to still be influenced by the world and stuff, but at least you've done your part. You know, the thing says, or the scripture says, you train up a child when they're young, when they get old, they won't depart from the faith. I think the focus and attention more than anything else is to try your best to keep them unspotted from the world because when you look at this world today, look at it. I mean, all of a sudden now, homosexuality, according to what the Bible says, is an abomination, is legal in this country. Now, the president of the United States of America is trying to extort the states in the United States by forcing them to comply with this chant or transgender or this neutral gender bathrooms. It's sick. It really truly is. And of course you have no father to look than the churches. I mean, after all, they just let anything come in and say whatever they want, do whatever they want. It's just a sad, sad thing. And, uh, and then the people who are doing everything they can possible to live a moral, biblical life, they're condemned by this world. I often said over and over again, if you really, really, truly want to see what ostracization or, you know, being ostracized, ostracized, yeah, um, ostracized, um, if you really, truly want to know what it means to be set apart, you only have one thing to do in this world, and you'll find out all these religious people who are serving Satan, you'll find out where their heart is. Just start keeping the commandments. You start keeping those commandments, you're going to find out real quick, fast, in a hurry who is really, truly a servant of Yah and who's not. And that's the truth. You may all want to consider, uh, since we're coming up on the end of the school year, I mean, really, truly weigh it hard. Do you really, truly want to send your children back in that public food system? I mean, I understand that they may enjoy it and love it because of what they call friends and all this old other stuff. But man, I tell you what, when you start looking at things the way they're going today, mm, the world and society is already lost. And I fear lest you really, truly make the hard, cold stand to keep that Bible, obey it, the law, statutes, commandments of it, not only is this generation lost, but this next society, uh, you thought Rome was bad because it started falling because of moral decay, you know, the moral decay of Rome, but we ain't seen nothing yet. We really, truly haven't seen anything yet. It's getting bad. All right, I'm out, getting ready to go work out.